So this is Major Kurt Chuin Lee. Whenever the U.S. entered World War II, Kurt here believed that it was his patriotic duty to serve in the United States military. So while he was in college at the University of California, he decided to postpone getting his bachelor's and enlist in the Marine Corps in June of 1944. When he got to the fleet, he realized that he was going to be assigned to a language training school instead of a combat unit. So for the next year, he trained in Japanese, so that way he could serve with an intelligence unit in the Pacific. Unfortunately, before he completed his language training school, the war ended. As a result of this, Lee requested order to go to the basic school in Quantico, Virginia, where he eventually commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps in April of 1946. He was actually one of the first Asian Americans to ever commission in the United States Marine Corps. At the start of the Korean War, First Lieutenant Lee was in command of the 1st Platoon, Company B, in 1st Battalion, 7th Marine Regiment out of Camp Pendleton, California. His unit shipped out on September 1st of 1950 before the Battle of Incheon. On November 2nd and 3rd in Sudong Gorge, Lee's unit was attacked by Chinese forces. He single-handedly attacked enemy positions positions one by one to draw their fire during the battle. While advancing, Lee was shouting to the Chinese in Mandarin to confuse them, and then he attacked them with hand grenades. He ended up getting injured during this battle, but despite his injury, he maintained good order and discipline amongst the Marines. He ended up going on to become a war hero of the Korean War because his unit actually relieved Fox Company on Fox Hill, 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines. For his heroism, he received the Navy Cross, the Silver Star, and two Purple Hearts before he retired in 1968 after achieving the rank of major.